to the street and keep undercover. Why do you reckon he wanted that letter? He didn't want it for himself. He stole it for somebody else who paid him a good price for it. Any idea who done it? Mighty good idea, which I'll be able to prove as soon as I meet up with Tom Grant and Gold Creek. Boys, Tex Houston's getting too close to the truth to suit me. We gotta do something to throw him off the trail. Such as what? Something that'll serve a double purpose. Remove any suspicion of my connection with you and get you fellas to Gold Creek ahead of the wagon train. Why do we have to get there first? Because I want Tom Grant out of the way before his sister gets there. He's got hold of some information that can sure cripple us. You sure of that? Positive. He said so right in this letter. Don't worry. When we get to Gold Creek, he won't write no more letters. Not so fast. I gotta have him sign his claim over to me before anything happens to him. And to remove any suspicion that Houston might have that I'm backing any play you fellas make, we're gonna have a fight. Huh? A fake fight, dummy, so as he can kick us out. Exactly. And when you get to Gold Creek, look up Ace Daggett. Coming, boys. Sit down, sit down. Nobody on that stage that interests us. Hi, Webster. Hello there, Reynolds. Webster. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? On the way to Gold Creek. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Tex Houston, Mr. Webster. I'm glad to know you, Webster. Thank you. Want you to have a seat? Thanks. I was mistaken. There was somebody on that stage that may interest us. Poor old Andy Grant's dead. Sorry to hear that. He was a fine man. All the Grants are fine people, if you ask me. It's gonna strike young Tom Grant mighty hard when I tell him his father's dead. You know, Tom struck it rich, and I'm expecting to handle his gold for him when I get out there to Gold Creek. Hello, Webster. How are you, Bart? Oh, you finally made up your mind to leave Plainsville and go out to Gold Creek, eh? Yes, expected to be there tomorrow morning for Stage Poker Springs, so I'm held up here a few hours. Well, why not come along with us? I'll let you have one of my wagons. Not for me, thanks. The stage makes as many miles in an hour as you fellows make all day. What's the hurry? Well, by the time you wagon folks get to the diggings, I'll have the Webster, First National Bank of Gold Creek, ready for business. Sit down and have a drink. Uh, no, thanks. I got a little argument over at my table I gotta settle first. I'll see you fellas later. What's wrong, Eden? Mm -hmm. Webster's leaving tonight for Gold Creek. We can't afford to have him get to young Grant before we do. Needing another job for us? Exactly. Not me. I took my last chance with that Grant wagon job. Suppose I told you he's carrying twenty or thirty thousand dollars in that bag. How do you know that? 
found out he's going to open a new bank at Gold Creek. I've satisfied myself he's got his cash capital right in that bag. He just thinks he's going to open a bank. Come on, boys. Wasn't we going to have a fight first? I'm coming to that. Yes, yes, yes. You can't get away with that. Those drivers are jump party. Yeah, yeah, none of that stuff. I restarted it. Yes, and I'll finish it. You're fired, a lot of you. Bart Eaton's become quite a scrapper. There. There's your time. Now get your horses and clear out. You can fire at Bart Eaton, but we'll clear out when we get good and ready. I never hankered for this outfit anyhow. What was the trouble, Bart? Oh, I've suspected them ever since we left Plainsville. We don't want their kind with the train. Maybe you're right. We sure did run into a lot of trouble. I know I'm right. Now I'll have to get some new drivers. Men I can trust. Glad he finally realized those fellas are no good. Strikes me that it took him a long time to find that out. Poor child. If you'd only let me help you forget. Please, I, I just want to be by myself. All right. Good night, Mary. Good night. Well, how about a drink? You gentlemen will excuse me. I've got a little business to attend to outside. Did you get Tom's letter? No, Mary. I didn't have much luck. Don't you worry, that little head of yours. Everything is going to be all right when we get to Gold Creek. And Tom. Been those Indians we saw a while back. The Indians didn't do this job. Of course it was the Indians. Look at those arrows. You have a lot to learn about Indians, Eden. In the first place, they always scalp their victims. Not if they were frightened off by our wagons. It wasn't Indians, and they weren't frightened off. Then how do you account for this? How do you? What do you mean? Indians don't leave traces. White men aren't so careful. Better clean up this mess and get started again. Uh, what are you going to do? I think I can pick up the trail of the men who did this. Whoa! 
Buffalo Bill, what are you doing in this neck of the woods? The Gold Creek stage was a day overdue. I was sent to find out why. Well, I can tell you one reason. Hawkins already told me at the wagon train. You had the right hunch about white men burning the stage. Though your friend Bart Eaton still claims it was Indians. I'll pick up their trail here. You get back and ride herd on the wagon train. They're kind of shaky. Thanks, Bill. Let me know what you find out. I'll look you up at Gold Creek. Good. Did you see Bill Cody? Yeah, and it's lucky for me. I was right busy with some Indians at the time. You better speed up the wagon train and stick to the open country. Right, I'll speed them right up. So it was the Indians that attacked the stagecoach. No, it wasn't. Bill Cody's on the trail of the white men who did it, and he'll sure run them down. time tomorrow, I'll be turning you over to your brother. It'll be wonderful to see Tom again. So, uh, Bart Eaton sent you to me, eh? What for? Well, it's like this, Mr. Daggett. I'll do the talking, Joe. Looking for a young fellow named Tom Grant. I see. Eaton thinks he can move in on Tom Grant's claim, eh? Who said anything about jumping claims? Nobody. But I know, Bart Eaton. Yeah. You're going to have a tough job about tricking Tom Grant. He's bloody smart. We'll take care of that. Where is he? You know where we can find him? Sure. I'll send you right up to his diggings. Little Cottonwood Canyon, just north of here. I wish you luck. Thanks. Never mind your thanks. I'm cutting myself in on this deal for 25%. You'll have to settle that argument with Bart Eaton. Yeah, well, don't worry. I intend to. Do you know Tom Grant when you see him? Sure do. Come on, boys. Crosby, when did you hit Gold Creek? Just flew in. 
Heard you were one of Gold Creek's leading citizens. Thought we'd get your autograph. Come on, stop your fooling. What's on your mind? We ain't fooling. We're dead serious. Sign this. Hey, what in thunder are you getting at? This is a quick claim deed to my gold mine. We know it. Sign it. Tom's cabin pronto. Good. I'm so anxious to see him. Come on, Sergeant. You're smart, Grant. You'll sign that while you're still able to. Take care of him, man, till Joe and I get back. Where are we going? To look over his mine. Maybe we can pick up a few nuggets for ourselves before Bart Eaton grabs them all. idea of leaving our horses way down there in the brush. It's smarter to hide them, ain't it? Come on in here. Take her. 